Howdy folks, this is the Maytech Analog Air Speed Sensor. It is the ASPD7002, I think it is. I did have this on the Bush Mule for the uh, F765 wing test, but I had it connected up all wrong, so uh, I thought I'd better do another video to show how it actually works. First thing I did was uh, I'd lost this little plastic tip on the front. Uh, luckily I found it again in my car. There are two tubes in there and it sort of separates the centre tube from the outer tube. So pretty important little uh, item, that tip. And I had these tubes connected the wrong way around as well. Uh, let's just show you how it should be done. So the straight tube connects to the top unit and the side tube connects to the bottom unit. Now looking at the little module itself, we have ground 5 volts and we have two signal pads uh, depending on which flight controller you're using. There's the signal pad and then there's the one half or one slash two. That's a voltage divider which gives half the signal, half the voltage value that this one does. If you're using the F504 wing, uh, it doesn't have a dedicated airspeed uh, pin on it so you use the analog RSSI pin and you have to connect the signal wire to this one half uh, and on the Maytech website it shows you what settings you need to do in INAV to set it up properly but for the F411 uh, WSE and the F765 wing you connect it to the signal pad and directly to the analog airspeed pin on the board. Here's how I've temporarily mounted it on the C1 chaser. It's pretty rough and ready but uh, I think you need to have it sort of poking out a fair way from the leading edge and away from any other structures that will influence the pressure around the tube. So I've just taped it on the bottom there and the tubes are basically coming around to the little unit sitting in the pocket there and then the servo wire goes inside. And this is the airspeed indicator pin set here. First one on that row uh, and we just plug Plug him in there, set it up in INAV and we're right to go. That's the GPS speed there, that's the airspeed there. So if we watch the comparison between these two, uh, we should see if it's reading correctly. So we've got airspeed. There's not a lot of wind around at the moment. Airspeed. 60 ground speed 38 going into the wind so I'll turn it and come back downwind we should get a higher ground speed there we go ground speed 77 80 air speed 56 so that's working really nicely now I think go back upwind should get closer together. Air speed 48, ground speed 32, 39. Very cool. So that works. Cruise along slowly. Air speed 35, ground speed 20. Really just gliding. This is working well. I don't think INAV can actually use the airspeed value to do anything other than show it on the screen. Maybe in the future uh, they will actually incorporate the airspeed reading into um, some functions.